Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. With great marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. This thing is so good. I cannot recommend it enough. I'm not vegan, but it's just like, this thing is so good. It makes everything taste like brown sugar boba. I got a haircut. Um, I just got it a bit shorter. I I feel like when I first got a cut, I really liked it, but now I'm kind of like, but it, it's cute. I just think I need to like invest in some curl creams and like stuff because I do have wavy hair. Um, so yeah, enough about my hair. Welcome back to a brand new studio vlog. I'm uh, so happy to have you here and we're gonna hang out for a couple days. Big, big news, hypothetically, Hypothetically, I may or may not be moving. I say this because Robert and I have been apartment hunting and it's been it's been quite a, the saga, but the other day we found an apartment we really liked, we applied for it and we may be getting it. So if we do, I would like to do a bit of a moving sale because I will probably be moving in the month of July. My fingers are crossed that this apartment works out because if we do get approved, I will have a studio of my own. And I feel like I've been manifesting this for like the longest time. But yeah, I'm just so, so excited. So I really hope it comes through. It would be a room almost bigger than the one I'm in now. And I would have it all to myself because the apartment we because <clears throat> that apartment is actually quite large, like 300 more square feet than the apartment I'm in right now. So Robert would have his own workspace in a separate room. Um, so yeah, I'm just so, so excited. I really hope it works out and I really hope I get to have a large studio of my own. I feel like I'll be able to have larger shop updates. I'll just like, I don't know. I just feel like it's gonna make my life a lot easier. Today, I'm going to be working on doing a little bit of inventory. Um, for my potential moving sale. I also want to work on um, the July benefit for next month just because I just feel like I might be super busy next month with the move. So I wanna make sure that like I get as much Patreon stuff done as I can, um, but yeah. Before we continue the video, we have to thank the sponsor, which is Squarespace. Thank you so much, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. You guys know already, Squarespace is an amazing tool you can use to build a website, online store, portfolio, etc. I love their design tools. Here I'm showing you how easy it is to design the layout of a header. They give you plenty of easy formatting ways, and it's just super easy to switch it. And I love like experimenting and seeing how my website can look. I also like to play with the site margins as well. One of my favorite things, you can see what it's gonna look like on phones because most people look at websites on phones a lot these days. So here I am switching up the thickness of, of the button you press to see the navigation items. It's really, really great. I highly recommend it. If you're interested, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Megan Wang for 10% off your first purchase.
Okay, so right now it's around 2.50, so it's basically 3 p.m. My eyes are feeling a bit strained, so I think I'm gonna move on to something different. I kind of wanted to plow ahead and work on the sticker for July, but I thought like, you know what? But I think I'm just gonna hold off for now just cause yeah, my eyes are feeling a bit strained and I'm gonna work on something like non-digital right now. So I think I'm gonna take some inventory and then update my website and then maybe announce like today that I'm having like a little moving sale. Here is the print for July. I'm really satisfied with it. I'll put like um, the previews for July up here because by now you will know what the July sticker is. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with this print. I really like how it came out. It didn't take me too long either, which is always a huge plus. Yeah, I feel like I'm really coming into my illustration flow. Coloring things is so much easier than it used to be. I used to have the hardest time. Like I would come up with like the composition just fine, but then when I would get to the coloring process, it would be really difficult for me to color my illustrations. But now I feel like I coloring is like really enjoyable to me and I feel like I know what I'm doing. I think that also just came with practice and also finding the right brushes and a lot of experimentation. My go-to brushes right now are the 6B pencil and the Max Pack Retro, the Retro Max Pack Gouache U Flow brushes. Those are the best gouache brushes I've ever used. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna order this from Cat Print just because prints have been taking a little bit of time and I just wanna get everything in um, so that like I won't have to deal with stuff when I move. Um, and yeah, we're gonna take a lot of inventory now and then announce the moving sale. So right now it's around like four o'clock. Um, I counted all my inventory. I was about to publish the shop. I made a special discount code for patrons as well as non-patrons. I even took the picture and I, I made the graphic for my moving sale. And as I was like drawing the letters, my wrist is also feeling really spicy today, so I, I shouldn't draw anymore. But anyways, as I was drawing the little letters, I was just like, do I want to pack probably a hundred-ish orders the week I'm preparing to move? Probably not. I guess I just thought like I really wanted to get rid of some inventory beforehand, but the thing is I don't have huge things. I got rid of my most bulky items during my last shop update, like my bags, and I don't have any shirts left because I shipped all the Australian mail. So it's really just like small items I don't think I need to get rid of now. I guess it's like just like kind of the rush of a sale. I feel like I get a good amount of orders during sales and it's just like kind of fun to run my shop, but I just need to, I'm glad I had a bit of a reality check while I was drawing. I was just like, Megan, you do not want to pack all these orders right now, especially when you're recovering from a really difficult month. So yeah, I stopped making the graphic and I was just like, you don't need to have a moving sale just because you had one last year because I did have one last year when I moved and I received a lot more than I had expected. Um, and I ended up like, that ended up being a bit distracting while I was actually packing my actual belongings. Um, so I, I was just like, why don't you learn from last year? But anyways, um, and my reach is a lot larger because it was like a whole year ago. So I'm like, I'll probably get around a hundred plus um, just because people love a sale. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna be nice to myself and like not actually do a sale and keep the shop closed and just reopen it when I move. Mm. 
No, that's my breakfast. Hello, hello, good morning. Today is Monday around 10 a.m. So it's Monday morning. Today my priority is just to pack all my Patreon mail. I had a pretty big delay. I like to get them out towards the beginning of the month um, and then kind of pack as the patrons join throughout the month. But unfortunately I had like an envelope mishap and I just had to wait. But my envelopes got in, they're good quality. They're from envelopes.com and the printing looks great. They're nice and thick, like I don't, I don't feel afraid to send prints in these. Um, and the sticky enclosure is on here too, so checks all my boxes for an envelope. Um, and I saved so much time because I didn't have to hand stamp everyone. So they were more expensive, but I'm really glad I, I purchased these. We got the apartment. Uh, I'm so, so excited. We're probably gonna, we're probably gonna start moving um, either next week or the week after. So my uploads might be a bit different. There'll definitely be like a studio makeover video while I like, decide like how to um, change like the look of my office and stuff. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, Cosmo and River are getting their lunch now, so if you hear the sounds of meows, that's why. Um, but I've been making pretty good progress on... Who texted me? I've been making pretty good progress on packing my Patreon mail. This is 142 envelopes, which is so many in just my print and sticker tier. And then I have around 60 something to pack in the print tier. Just wanna say thank you so much to all of my patrons. My Patreon community grew tremendously this month. I went from around 300 all the way to 380, which is a lot more people. So just wanna say thank you, really appreciate you. Um, and yeah, this, this envelope stack is humongous. So I'm gonna put stamps on these in a sec, but I've been fiddling around with my Rolo printer and just these labels this morning because I typically will use the Avery papers. It's just like a sheet of paper with labels on them and I just have them printed on with um, a regular printer. I noticed, I think I've seen Lee as well as Cheyenne um, just use their Rolo printers for the address labels. So I wanted to sort of walk you through it just in case you were curious, because I know when I was first starting to learn how to do Patreon mail for the first time, I was always so confused about how people did it. So yeah, I just wanted to walk you through my process just in case you were curious um, and maybe it'll be helpful to you in some way. This is how I do it. So I go to avery.com slash templates. Avery is the brand that does all these labels. What I would normally do when I had those papers I would just get off Amazon, I would just use this template, the 5160. It's totally free by the way. Um, and then what you do is it brings you into this like design world. I click select this design. And then what I do is I ready, Patreon lets you export a CSV file of all of the addresses that people enter. So you're gonna wanna take that. I would show you, but I just wanna dox my patrons. So um, I just get the CSV. I hit import data mail merge. I hit start merge. And then I have it in a Google sheet. And so you can actually select the Google file 
and then you just like import all of the addresses in. So after you edit and you import, all of your addresses are going to be custom placed into all of these um, sheets. And it's just like really awesome. You preview and print. And then imagine this with like all the addresses on. When I want to do it with a regular label printer, here is what I did. Okay, let's go back to choose template. Okay, I found this template. I used the four mini, which is four labels per sheet, but I just found that it was too big. So what I did was I tried six mini. I'm gonna click six mini, do the same thing, select the design, import all of your things, but you're gonna notice that the final image is a lot larger than a regular four by six shipping label. Like this is really long, right? But what you're gonna do is get the PDF to print anyways. Sorry, this is all blank. I just don't wanna dox anyone. So see, this is too long, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, hit fit to printable area. That's key, okay? Because at default is too long. Or when at default, all of your um, text is gonna be like off center. But when you hit hit to printable area, it's gonna fit all of your labels. Basically, it's gonna come out super long and off center. You just hit print, make sure the index, the paper size is four by six, and then make sure it says fit to printable area, and then you'll be good. It is like 1.48 and it's lunchtime. Uh, I went to H-Mart this weekend, so I got a bunch of fun stuff. So we're gonna make this. Um, I feel like H-Mart has so much like really delicious, easy to prepare food. So we definitely stocked up. I also got my turtle chips. I love turtle chips. If you haven't tried these, highly recommend you try them. They're just so airy. Like, look at this. Look, my camera is. My, my camera has this thing called product showcase. Whenever you like show something, it'll zoom in really quickly. But see, look, I'm in focus, right? And now the product's in focus. Well, how did this turn into a tech review? Anyways, this is a chip review. It's super airy, so when you eat it, like, it just gives really good, like, I don't know how to call it, mouthfeel. <laughs> this is the Flame and Lime flavor. I actually like, I don't know if it's their regular flavor, but they have a flavor that's just like, kind of like peanutty and sweet, but also salty. I think that might be my favorite, but the flame and lime is also really good. just a little check-in so right now it's around 4 p.m. so I'm gonna stop working because I'm just done for the day um, I basically finished 
the little benefit preview and I scheduled the post to go live tomorrow. I feel like sometimes when I'm making posts for Patreon, I'll just like post it the minute I'm done. But then sometimes I realize like I'll make like two posts a day and then I just kind of want to spread them out a bit better. So I just scheduled it for tomorrow because I already made a little poll today asking um, my patrons like what kinds of products they would be interested in for the next drop. And I also made the sticker. It's going to be like a little onigiri. I feel like I draw, it's not like a super original concept, but um, I feel like I draw this onigiri a lot and I feel like it, it would just be nice to have a sticker of him. Um, I feel like the print is like kind of spooky, but it's okay. I feel like I've never really been someone to try to make my Patreon benefits super on theme. I feel like I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's nice to have like a winter theme during December and stuff, but also some of my patrons live in Australia and it's just like not on theme like weather wise anyways. So yeah, I just don't think too hard about making it like seasonally appropriate. But I wanted to quickly chat with you about something very exciting that's happening. So I think today, possibly. So by the time this video comes out, you probably might have already seen it. Um, but I'm doing a collaboration with my friend Benji. He goes by Benji Plant on YouTube um, and TikTok and Instagram. You guys probably know who Benji is. Um, he makes like really, really lovely plant content. His videos are like super S tier. Even if you are a plant person, like you will still enjoy his videos. Like, trust me. Sorry, I switched angles, <laughs> but basically I made a little collaboration with Benji. I made a desktop background as well as some icons in it's basically a digital download pack. So there are desktop icons as well as background for the icons. It's not just for um, like the desktop icons on your computer. You can also use them on Notion, which I really love doing with digital downloads I get from Patreons that I'm a part of. Benji also ended up designing more uh, like a phone background stuff using um, the digital downloads I sent using the art I sent him he like collaged it into a little background which I thought was so cute um, but yeah you get a, a good amount of icons and I think the background is so so cute too it's modeled after the shelf he has in his bedroom I really hope you guys like it feel free to check it out if you want to it's going to be available on Benji's website I'm going to leave a link in the description box if you want to check it out um, and yeah Hello, hello, today is Tuesday and I just spent the morning doing a bunch of like designs for um, my shop update stuff and I haven't worked on shop stuff in a while but I thought we could chat about a bunch of ideas I have um, just cause, I don't know, maybe it'll be interesting to you. So yesterday I worked on my onigiri sticker and I feel like I was just kinda, I kinda had him in my brain. So when I was sketching, I drew a bunch of like onigiri related things. Like I made a washi tape of him doing different things. Um, I also made a t-shirt design of him surfing. So yeah, there'll definitely be a lot of like rice ball merch in my next update, but I'm quite excited. I, I, I like this design a lot. New things coming to the shop. I'm definitely gonna make a new tote bag because I did a poll on my Patreon and I asked my patrons what kinds of things they wanted to see and I gave a bunch of options and new tote was by far the most popular option. So I guess people just really love bags. So I will be making a new tote. I'm gonna have a new shirt, which will probably be like the onigiri surfing. I'm gonna have two washi tapes. Um, I'm gonna have a risograph postcard set um, and have like postcard lines on the back. I just think that could be really cool. I also had an option for a zine and a lot of people voted for the zine, which I'm always surprised about. I personally don't buy zines, um, but I do like looking at them. I guess because I, I'm not very familiar with zine culture in that world. I just don't make them and I just don't buy them, but apparently people are very interested. So um, I'm, I'll either make like a brand new comic for that zine or just um, improve one that I've already made. Um, and I might make that a Rizzo zine because I just love making everything Rizzo. <laughs> it is so time consuming to make things Rizzo graph, but uh, sometimes it's just worth it because the effects are just so cool. I also thought of making a phone grip. In terms of things I'm going to restock, I'm definitely going to restock my blue butterfly tote bags and the pink bunny tote bags. Those are quite popular, so I'm definitely gonna restock those. I'm gonna restock the rainbow sticker because those sold out for my last update. Sometimes people ask me like, how do you know what merch to order and what to reorder? Um, I typically will order a quantity of 100 for every new product I have. Um, and that's like a pretty safe amount. I feel like I'll, if I don't end up selling out within the first update, within the second or third one after that, they typically do sell out. Sometimes I have things that straggle, but I typically always will make a profit on something. 
And if it sells out, I'll just do another reorder. Also in batches of 100 because I feel like that's the sweet, stop, sweet spot for me where it's not, I won't sell out of it immediately. So I have enough stock, but it's also not so much that I'll never get rid of it, you know? So I'll be ordering a hundred more of my rainbow stickers as well as the sticker sheet I did last time because those were quite popular. And yeah, I also feel like I might have some ceramics in the next update, hopefully. Um, I think next month I might be rejoining the ceramic studio that I took classes at. Um, if you don't remember, I took a class like a few months ago, um, but it was at kind of a bad time for me. I was dealing with a lot of shop stuff and um, that is when I had a lot of YouTube videos to make too with certain deadlines and it was just really overwhelming for me to have to do a course on top of my full-time job. I also didn't have the right mindset I think when going in. I went in being like I'm gonna take this course but I'm also going to make the money back that I spent on this course by like making things for myself and for the shop and it was just way too ambitious because my course was quite advanced. Um, I was really focused on like being a good student and learning the techniques but at the same time in the back of my head I was like but I want to make all this stuff for my shop and it was just like too way too much for me. I definitely got pretty overwhelmed because I would go after work and after work is like my recharge time. But this time around, I, I've decided that I don't really want to take a course. I think I just want to become a member if, if it'll have me and just focus on making stuff. And I think I want to focus on like not only personal projects, um, but also just like small things that could be easy to sell and um, produce in large quantities. So like maybe things like chopstick rests or like incense holders, like tiny trinket trays. Um, I was a little bit discouraged after taking my course. I was just like, oh, I guess my, my dreams of being like a ceramic artist is like over because I'm not able to balance it. But I think I just need to go into it with like a fresh mindset. Um, and not put too much pressure on myself to like make a bunch of money right off the bat off of my ceramics and just like experiment and try to like rediscover my love for it and outside of like a very intense class setting. Those were some mini shop updates. I hope to have it open in September potentially. Um, I don't want to rush myself because there's a lot that I want to produce and I used to keep my shop open while I wasn't producing new things. So if you notice some artists that like kind of do the same thing I do, they're like illustrators with shops. What they'll do is they'll do a shop drop um, and do the update, bring a bunch of new things to the shop. And then after a week or two, they close it so they can prepare for the next one. Um, and I always saw people doing this, but I was just like, I don't need to do that. I'll just keep it open. I'm realizing now because I have more orders, it's actually real, it's smarter for me to close it on these off seasons because it's really time consuming to take time out of my week to repack, to pack a bunch of orders that I get. And it's not, and I don't get the same amount as when my shop is open for the first time. So I'll get these like straggler orders trickle in and then it's kind of hard for me to completely divert what I'm doing to have like a whole packing session. It's actually more time efficient for me to spend my off season just completely working on new stuff for the shop, focusing on making my Patreon content really great for my patrons, focusing on making really high quality YouTube videos, and then having on seasons for the shop where I am packing in bulk. I am learning that it's okay to unfortunately forgo those sales during the off season and just ask people to be patient for my shop reopens again so that I can just like really dedicate my time to other things so I don't feel like as frazzled, if that makes sense. Like all my hands are in like multiple buckets. I know that's not the right expression. But yeah, I don't know how I got on that rant. Oh my God, I've been talking for eight minutes. Okay, I'm going to close the video off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this short mini studio vlog was interesting to you and I was able to keep you some company. Um, another huge shout out to all of my patrons for being so supportive of me and helping me just like live life. <laughs> my patrons pay for my rent. They pay for all my new art supplies. They're Without my patrons, I wouldn't be able to move to a larger studio, which is something that I've been wanting for so long. I'm gonna have to furnish the new place with more shelving and my patrons fund that as well. So yeah, just wanna let my patrons know how much they, how much I appreciate them and like how big of a difference they make. So yeah. Thank you, thank you to all my patrons. Uh, thank you to you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one very soon.